Energizer Bunny, and I'm here with last week's tire blowout. Save your AA batteries. You saved Danica's race last week with your pit road shenanigans. That's because I secretly love her. Whoa, is this breaking news? I have pictures of her all over my walls. Should you be saying this out loud? Even the naughty ones. You can't say that. It's 2023. When I look at those naughty pictures, I just... Ah! 600 likes, and we'll turn AA batteries into the proper authority. Look at these things dangling behind my ears. That's cute. What's happening, everybody? Yeah, you have my cover out, so welcome back to NASCAR 2011 DLC Career Mode. Gotta turn on my goddamn fan, because why is this jacket gonna be so thick? Last week out at Phoenix, I thought that the cars flying through the air was gonna tame down after the day tones. Well, I was incorrect. Cars still fly, no matter what track we're at in the 2011s. And what about Giggles Logano wrecking me? Just because I said he should go back to Connecticut. Go ahead and cry into your clam chowder. We had a great qualifying effort. Started on the front row with Danica Patrick Star. New nickname? Anyways, took the fight to Jeff Gordon Ramsay early on, but that sort of all fell apart when we started wrecking, and we really weren't able to work our way back up to the front. It wasn't until my teammate AA Batteries, who I think secretly has a crush on me, did some weird stuff on the pit road that I was able to get my track position back. But that wasn't enough to save old Danny's race over here. We got into some altercations with Denny Hamster after, well, what I deemed to be unnecessary out of the Daytona's actions on his part, so I took vengeance. All that stupid crap left me with a bunch of engine damage and we had to spend the rest of the race because I didn't want to give up my track position just puttering around and waiting for the race to finish. Only we're able to hang on to a 13th. Can't! If dominated the second half, he wins. After two races, leading the point standings, David roto Rooter, who had a pretty solid run at Phoenix. He's doing all right. So far this season, KDK in second, Sideburn Fever in third. We're up to fourth, which there is something a little bit funky, I think, going on last week with the point standings. I'm not 100% sure we can trust the point standings that are delivered directly after the race. We have to like come back here to get the true story. Anyway, Jeff Gordon Ramsay in the fifth spot rounds at the top five. And after only two races, 24 races until the chase, that's six months. You got old man Bushy taking the last spot on points. And then it goes to the wild card. And the wild card, is Kansas. he gets wild card number one. Denny Hamster gets wild card number two. Whoever has wins from 11th to 20th, wild card is kind of hard. Uh, I, I hope I explained it well enough. Today, I got to tell you, I'm a little bit worn out. I have some Viva Las Viagra exhaustion. We've been running here in NASCAR Heat 5. We've been running here in NASCAR 21 Ignition. Then you had the Formula NASCAR and the actual Las Vegas Grand Prix. Now we're running here in the 2011. I need a long extended break. I have blown through my life's savings on the slot machines. I have blown through my life savings on the slot machines. They both started with acid, confused my brain. It is week 3 of 36 and I can say without a shadow of a doubt I hate wearing this wig. Let's Let's get this video started. And let's actually get a like win or something. That'd be cool. Let's go! Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Las Vegas, where the Sprint Cup Series is making their annual visit. I'm Mark Darrow with PRN. My co-host today, Doug Wright. And of course, Las Vegas Motor Speedway has undergone a lot of changes. This used to be a relatively flat track, Mark. Now, 24 degrees in the banking, and it's made it a much faster track. And very fan-friendly, not only the racetrack, but the neon garage, where they get up close and personal with the team. Taking a look at the history, here, Hendrick and Roush Fenway, the dominant teams, have won 10 out of the last 12 races. Watch out for Kyle Busch, though. He drives for Joe Ginn. The sellout crowd of 142,000 on their feet, like the jet from nearby Nellis Air Force Base. We're about to take off with the Shelby American. Marky Mark and the Dougie Bunch, thank you! We are underway at Las Vegas. Did you see that championship belt? That looked actually, that was pretty cool that they put that in there. I want that thing! First win for the Danica happens today! We had a solid qualifying effort. Hey, wow! My future boss, he ain't gonna wanna hire my ass! Because remember, we're still driving for Junior Motorsports at this point. I can already feel my head starting to precipitate. Solid qualifying run, qualified in eighth. The, 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 the Danica Patrick Star. I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't know if, is that gonna stick? Solid qualifying effort so far. Oh, the, what the hell? What, uh-oh. Uh oh! We got problems. I'm not gonna be making a pit stop. Last week's winner, Matt Kenseth. 
What did he hit though? Damn! That was like an old style wall pop. It wasn't the typical wall pop in that you we've we, we've come to see in the Eutechnic saga. Where they slingshot down, he just hot he hit that thing, he stopped dead! The Eutechnics wall pops in the rest of the games, it makes you go faster. It slings you down to the inside wall, it just shoots you down there. This is the only game where it makes you slower. I wonder if that's gonna be like a common occurrence in this race, if they're just gonna keep hitting it and it's gonna keep bringing out cautions. I, oh, damn! I just grabbed it a little. Hang the hell on to it, Patrick! I can't, what the, I got damage. Wow, did I take a lot of right, oh shit! Give a lady some room! I took a lot of damage. Now, was that, I'm assuming that was when I hit the turn four wall. I don't think it's safe for barrier. I think that's solid. I'm gonna hit it again. Wow! That is solid semen! I can feel it on the damn dog leg on the front straight away. And now it's, wow, it's really bad. I'm really having to slow down an awful lot. We got a lot of damage. What is the flex seal? No, that's a lot of damage. But I had that in my first lap of qualifying. I wasn't expecting it. It gets really tight coming out of this corner. Like the wall just, all of a sudden, the wall's like, hey, I'm here. This sucks. They're like, we need a caution. We need another caution, and I need to remember to hit the pit stop button. Okay, yeah, we're going, uh, we're going for another little bit of a ride. Oh yeah, wow, airborne twice in that accident. I mean, I thought I gotta make a pit stop here. I thought I didn't do anything wrong. He kinda just... Put the squeeze play on me. Well, you can't squeeze me! The motherfucker is married and he's trying to squeeze Patrick Starr. Oh, look at that, do you see that? Because I can hear it. I can hear them all getting into each other. Now, it's, this stuff is starting to come back to me. I haven't played this in so long. I'm remembering some of these bugs. Oh, dear Lord, the geriatric pit crew. Is this Grandpa Martin's pit crew or is it mine? We are young, we are vibrant. We should be hopping over that wall, changing them tires, lickety split, under 10 seconds. Wow. Even with that slow balls ass pit stop, I gained what, about eight spots? Can't restart worth a shit, but at least we got that track position back. The pit crew is sneaky. It's like a ninja. It's moving all slow, and you expect it not to do anything. But then, out of nowhere, you get a ninja star in. Holy fuck! We're faster, we're faster. Come on, man. Eyes on the prize. I took a ninja star right to the throat. Are you shitting me? Are you shitting? I blew out a tire! I should have been it! I had no idea I blew out a tire! What the fuck was that? I've heard of wall pops before! That was a wall explosion! I need a yellow! I can't, all right, all right, okay. All right, we're gonna have a mega pit stop. Unless, uh, uh, you know, somebody wrecks. What in the world is going on over there in turn four? It's because they haven't put the proper safer barriers. Jeff Gordon Ramsay, he wrecked here big time a few years ago. Oh God, I don't want him touching me. He wrecked here big, and I would have thought that we would have taken notice that this track needed safer barriers all around. Why am I going so slow? Come on. Nice entry. Could have been a little bit faster there, though. Shut the fuck up. Now I have to go lap down because nobody freaking told me that I had a blown out left right front. But you know, why's that tire floating? It's understandable that I had a blowout there. I took an atomic blast right to the face. Please tell me that there are free passes in this game. God, I hope so. My car is so screwed up. There is like no splitter. There is nothing. Two laps. I lost two laps through that? I wasn't on pit road that long. Oh my God, now it still doesn't turn. The handling here is so bad. The car is so tight. I mean, I guess I should make some adjustments, but I just, I didn't really realize that I had to. I didn't realize I had to because I haven't had a friggin' normal lap yet. Well, look at how far off we are on the fastest lap. Like Jeff Gordon Ramsey, uh, Tony the Tiger. 29.69, my fastest lap so far is a 31.44. That's like two seconds off. We just ran our fastest lap, but still, uh, we need another second and a half. And the leader of Carlos Jr. is
is closing. He's closing fast. Yeah, I gotta loosen this damn thing. It, it's bad. It's really bad. I gotta make sure I don't go a third lap down. I keep finding more and more speed each lap. I'm not really sure how, but I know there is a lot more speed out here if I could just get the thing loosened. That's the leader. I'm getting lapped a third time. Oh, wait, this, this is it. This is, this is bad. I know he's probably gonna be a little bit pissed off about that, and I'm kinda worried he might try to kill me. Because Carlos Jr., he's got that crazy look in his eye. But I gotta do what I gotta do. I'm hoping that we get like another wall stop or a wall explosion. Either way, it works for me as long as it's yellow. They're gonna be making pit stops soon. And we've seen what the hell they do. Wow. Wow, I screwed Carlos Jr. over so bad he lost all of his lead that fast. We've seen how willing they are to make cautions when they make pit stops. Every time there's like a pit stop sequence for the AI, they wreck. So I gotta try my best, even though I just got passed. I gotta try my best to keep this pointed in the right direction, wait for them to make pit stops. And I gotta try to make something of it. That was close! Carlos Jr. is the first one down pit road. We gotta push this as far as we can, try to get our laps back, and then maybe we'll get lucky with the yellow. No, come on! Yeah, there you go. Peel off. Hey, hey, hey! I'm your driver. You have shown me zero respect and help. I need all the help I can get. Fucking caution comes out right here. I'm gonna be living. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll take it. That, that thing is dangerous. Big fatty of a lead over the leaders here, so I don't have to worry about that as much as... Ah, oh, shit, I forgot about it. I'm sorry. We'll do it next time. Bye. There's hardly any water left! Ah! Welcome to Michael Moses Mid-Race Report! Presented by Gas Can Water! I'm still... I'm a little bit dazed and a little bit confused. I feel like Matthew McConaughey after that turn four accident! That shit shook me. That shit shook my children. That shook my grandchildren. My great, great, great grandniece felt a disturbance in the force when that thud happened. Anyways, we're in a pretty shitty situation. I'll call it a situation because I had no idea that that right front was blown out and I should have made a pit stop. I just realized I got damage again on that right front. Things are bad at the moment. Oh my God. Yeah, we just keep destroying that shit. I need a caution bad. I'm one lap down now. So really, this would be the time for someone to fuck up. I'm not sure if there are free passes in the game. It'd be freaking cool if there were. Even if we don't get it right now, right here, I don't, I cannot make. Okay, just bring out the yellow. Holy shit, there's the leader. All right, I don't know if this is gonna benefit us. Maybe it will make a pit stop for sure. If we're only one down, great. Maybe we can fight for a free pass? How you doing? That's for before for not helping me out. It doesn't tell me if I'm only one lap down yet. I guess we'll see on the restart. We're making a pit stop here and I'm not totally out of it, but we're, we're getting close to being out of it and this being our first bad run of our 2011 DLC career. We'll see if I can turn it around in the second half. This has been Michael Moves Mid-Range Report presented by Cascade Water. I can feel my jelly rolls sweating underneath this jacket. It's not a good feeling. It's very swampy under this jacket. Big time loosening on this slow as balls pit stop. Look at that big old monkey wrench that they are sticking into that rear windshield. Man, he's got to have some muscular forearms. Thank God. And we're the only one one lap down. So a caution should give us free pass. It should put us back in the race. And I loosened it. Fuck it, just fuck it, just take the goddamn... Oh, they're not gonna give me a caution. Oh no, they'll give me a fucking caution. I'm gonna do fucking burnouts down here and turn two until they give me my caution, which I desire. Give me that damn yellow right now, right now. I might've loosened it too much. Honestly, there's a good probability that I loosened this car up too much because I didn't go down into that corner looking to cause an accident. It just kind of happened after the fact, after I got so damn loose and I drifted up into the 99. Okie dokie. Well, we're back into the damn race. You know, I look at that as making things. 
Him and I are not going to have a good working relationship. Man's could have just saved it. You didn't have to go a wrecking. You, you had it saved. What? Hey, come on. You had it saved. Wow. Okay. So what I wanted to say before was this getting my laps back being in back at the race, that calls us even for the game not telling me that I had a blown out right front after um the shits. This day will go down in infamy. Everyone will remember it as the day that Danica Patrick exploded all over Las Vegas. I still can't turn. I, it was like loose initially after the pit stop, after the adjustments that I made, and now it just, this track sucks. It's really quite bad. We're not going anywhere. And it's turn one. Turn one's the worst. Turn four is second worst. I mean, I made only one adjustment, but I made it really loose. I took a lot of tightness out of it. I made a big adjustment, and it still sucks. Now they're just hitting the brakes, giving me free spots. They're tight the whole damn race, qualifying everything. Every time I drive this car here, tight, tight, tight. And now that they've driven off for me, I highly doubt that I'm going to be able to drive up there and get those positions, get a top 10. Those top 11 are freaking flying. They are gone. And Steve Harvey, he is gone. Look at that 29. That is a throwback and a half. That's looking like his first 29 car, the one he won his first race at Atlanta with. Lally friggin' pop. <laughs> I was not about to get outrun by a lally pop. Someone pit it. I'm not sure who, but someone just throw it down pit road and now I'm up to 11. This is the only corner where they gain on me. I'm fine in three and four. I get out of turn two great. It just... If I could have figured out turn one, maybe we could have contended for a much better result. Steve Harvey wins the bastard, and uh, we're going to take home an 11th. And I'm not sure who that was that had a pit coming to the white flag, but unfortunate as hell for them. We'll actually see them coming off of the pits. Who is that? We're getting closer. We're so close. I think that might be Icky Ricky. I love you. Oh, I'm so sad that you had to pit. Would you like to go out to dinner? I'm buying because I definitely make more money than you. I am so, I am drenched. I feel disgusting right now. Ends up in 11th. What is going on? I hear a lot of crunching back there. We just miss out again on a top 10 finish on a statistic. Diggle, diggle. The Chef Buerdi, Jabai, finally a good, good run. P-Brain up there. Another solid run for roto Rooter. He's probably still leading them points. Your winner, uh, my rival. Unfortunate. Steve Harvey. And scroll through here, see where the hell everybody else finished. We just barely beat out Lollipop. Corn Cobb, top 20, very solid. This, I don't know about this guy. He's not a very good team owner. McDouche back here. Tony the Tiger, fastest lap, but can muster up a 25th. 27th for Jeff Gordon Ramsay. I'm assuming that some of those like late race cautions that these guys were making pit stops, and that's why they just ended up with crappy runs. Gazip! Your first caution of the day. All right, so we did the double zero. We did the one car. Let's do this two car. Elliot is one of only 21 drivers to have won in each of NASCAR's top three series. I would come up with something uh, like snarky and sarcastic, but I like Elliot, so I'm just gonna fuck off this week. This is what I'm talking about. I don't believe this to be 100% accurate. So we're gonna look at the point standings back at the main menu. I mean, just look at this shit. Look at how many times do I have barrel roll? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Lucky number seven. I could have made a pit stop in that pit stall. Actually, I think it's accurate. Rudder Rooter continues to lead the way. Up by 18 over 10. What? One, two for Mikey Walnuts Racing. We bump up to third. We've been consistent. We haven't been super flashy, but we've been consistent so far. The Boof jumps up five spots. Candy Cade down three to fifth. So Old Man Bushy's still the last driver in on points. You then have, where's the 17 car? 17 has won or 17 isn't in the top 20 anymore. Holy hell, he dropped far. All right, so his win doesn't matter. So 11th and 12th in points get the transfers. That's Jeff Gordon Ramsay and Marcos Polo currently. Jumma jumps up a bunch. We'll scroll through everybody else. There's a lot of comers and goers here. Keep going, keep going. Last in points is Gilligan. Well, that is going to do it for this episode. Next week is... <laughs> we thought that this was all fucked up today. Wait till we get out there. I do love running the Bristol, but it can also go so bad so quickly. That'll be next week. I'm done for now. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I love you. Every single last one of you, I cannot wait every single week now to take this shit off. It is just so...
thick. There's so much hair. There's so much jacket. I don't know what I was thinking when I came up with this costume. I'll see you guys in the next one. God bless!